guys, this was the really Blacks, and today we're back with another Clash of Clans Sims tutorial. So, today we're going to be doing trophy dropping do's and don'ts. So, trophy dropping has a lot of pros to it and has a few cons to it. So, here are the obvious pros. So, well, actually, at first, let's do the cons because we don't really have to attack anyone to show you that. Okay, so, here are the pros. So, my maxima, so if I destroy everyone's, like, their whole base, I get 17,000 gold extra and 17,000 gold extra, 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 and on Crystal Week 3, I got 40,000 gold extra and 40,000 gold extra, extra, and 120 dark gold extra, 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 so that's really good if you have 2,000 ready, right? Right. But, when you think about it, so the last guy that attacked me, 71% of me. So let's visit his base. So if I wanted to revenge him, if I was that kind of person, then I would have to destroy all that. Now, let's go to a random clan. Da -da -da. Um, random clan. Okay, and 44 members, not you, you. So, all these people, this guy, 154 trophies. So I'm looking at the character. Do you think that he'd be able to kill me with 10 barbarians and 17 archers? No. And these are the kinds of people that you would find. So, great, you're never going to lose your loot, right? Wrong. Well, yes, but still potentially no. So, they have 541 plus 542 plus 547. So, great. They have 1,500 gold up. And you're only able to steal about half that, so I'd be able to steal about 750 loot from him if I was in. If I tro dropped trophies that much. So, that sucks, right? You're not going to be able to steal gold from everyone. Well, the thing is, if you so let's say you can get trophies really really quickly because you can't if you can then you can just drop trophies right and then go to the bottom and then just rise back up quickly right well yeah so trophy dropping is for people who have like me level 12 gold mines and like say what wait one sec guys sorry about that guys i had a connection error so anyways um so as i was saying Dropping trivies. So, it's for people who have, like, level 12 gold mines. And, so whenever people steal from them, they steal ton of loot. Well, like this guy. He stole 171,000 gold from me. But, he definitely wouldn't have been able to if all he had was 17 archers and 10 barbarians. Right? So, yeah. Trophy dropping is for people, well, I don't like trophy dropping. But, it's for people who have all, like, maxed gold mines and, like... Like, if you're trying to save up for Town Hall, but you don't want to take the time to save up all your gems, and people keep stealing all your money, and you're not as patient. Well, if you're trying to upgrade your Town Hall, you can drop trophies really, really low, and then, boom, people can't steal your loot. Right. So, yeah. But then, along with that, along with the really low loot that sucky people have, also... Um, also, what was I going to say? I hate when that happens. Oh, also, people with lower town hall, then you have a dislike bonus. So basically, you won't be able to steal any gold from anyone. But then there's the plus side of that. You don't have to spend a lecture to gain troops, to train troops, right? Yeah, so there's a pro. Um... Another pro is it's really good for just, like, saving up huge amounts of money over time. So, like, if you're a super-duper active player, trophy dropping won't be good for you. Because, like, if you, like, make sure on the dot every single time, right when your trip, troops are done, you attack. You make sure that you get 100% because you're really skilled. And then you go right back, train as fast as you can, leave, come back right on the dot, and repeat the process. Well, then trophy dropping won't be good for you. But if you're the kind of person who likes to just leave it, Wait for your gold mines to, like, fill up somewhat, and then come back, collect them, maybe attack once, and then leave for the rest of the day. 
like most people, then yeah, trophy dropping, trophy dropping would work. I would not recommend trophy dropping for people like me who have tons of trophies already that, that tr tons of trophies already that they've worked really hard to do, and people that have a really good base. But so, let's say people always 100% you, like you're getting 100%, 100%, 100%, and your defense is always losing. That's gonna suck, right? It's gonna suck. So you're going to want to trophy drop because then people won't keep 100%ing you. You'll be able to save up your loot. You can increase your defenses, and then you can not trophy drop anymore. So yeah, trophy dropping is a really somewhat complicated process, and yeah. So I'm gonna do an attack, and I'll show you what the people that I attack look like with 1,900 trophies. Okay. So we got people like him that have 220,000 gold. But, look at that. Look, do you think I'd be able to beat that with the troops that I have? Maybe, but I probably wouldn't be able to get the max amount of gold. 70,000 gold. That's still a lot better than less than 1,000 stealable loot, right? Right. But there are gold, the gold storage is right there. But I want more than 70,000. I would like someone with at least 100,000 steel bullet. This person definitely would not be able to beat, in my opinion. Um, this person, 317,000 gold. But look at that base. Just look at it. It's pretty good, right? Next. Well, this person is also really good. Like, all these people, like, I have to skip a lot of people because either their loot sucks or they have really hard bases. This guy. This guy's base isn't too good. It's beatable, but it also has good loot. Okay, so. Wait, right in this corner. Let's go. Barb King Unleashed. Go Pekka's, Dragons, Healers. Oh, these wizards, another healer, and the barbarian king. I mean, barbarian. The barbarian king. No, just a little barbarian guy. And now we want all these wizards to murder that barb king as fast as possible. Okay, heal spell. Dang it. Uh, I should have healed my wizard. Uh, drags need to be healed. A lot. Okay, let's go. Now, where's my barb king? He's with the Pekkas, and they're not really getting hurt too bad. Okay, they're all good. Um, my goal is to steal at least 100,000 of his loot. So. No, Hidden Tesla, I hate them. I just kill my Pekkas so fast. I did two times the damage, I think. <sighs> Healers heal him. Oh, yeah, Barb King. Should probably do so. Yeah, I won. I'm gonna gain trophies. They're gonna lose trophies. Well, I get, but I still haven't still stole in a hundred thousand of their loot yet, which was my goal. Yeah, but I still have my Barb King and a Pekka. Well, two Pekkas, but one of them is about to die. And now all I have is my Barb King. I meant my Pekka and my other Pekka. Okay, now I'm at just uh, uh, never mind. Oh, I stole 107,031 loot, and I got a 15,300%. Yeah, 15,300% would have been awesome, but 15,300 gold and elixir. Benis, 43,491 elixir and 742 dark elixir and 8 trophies. So, I don't really care about trophies, but the loot was pretty good. And now I can get 160,000 more, and then 600 more dark elixir, and I can upgrade my Barb King! Yay! Yay, an exciting day this is. Anyways, so now, yay, that is exciting. Anyways, so yeah, that's a lot of the pros and cons. So you can decide if you want to trophy drop or not. So yeah, I personally recommend it to people with trophy levels that are way higher than most of the people in their league. So like, well, I mean, base levels that are way lower than the people in their league. So, like, let's see, Fangor. If 
Han Jr. I'm worse than him. Definitely. But he's probably better than most of the other people in my league. And let's do someone around me. So, um, this guy. He has about my trophies. And he's still better than me. So, I could trophy drop. Theoretically, I probably should. The person in my clan. He has way less trophies than me, but he doesn't really care about trophies. And this is his base. Yeah, it's pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. So, I could trophy drop, but I'm not going to because I like my trophies to be good and high. I don't really mind searching a bit to find the right base that I can do. I don't care about having to 100% everything. So, yeah, hope you liked the video and hope it helped you decide whether you want a trophy drop or not. And if you do then leave a like, and if you don't, well, at least you know now when you should trophy drop, or if you're not really gonna trophy drop, so, yeah, if you like the video, please hit that like button, and if you really liked it, consider subscribing to me, and if this series helped you, thanks a lot, I think this might be the last or second to last video, so, if you don't see any more, don't be surprised, I give you a heads up, so, yeah, thanks for watching, it's Boobie here, and signing out, goodbye!